Hey guys, my name is Chris and welcome to Cross Chop. Today I discovered that there was a head of cauliflower in my fridge and I decided to make something out of it. So we're gonna do something a little different and I'm gonna show you a recipe that I'm rather fond of. If you're a person like me who enjoys carbohydrates like mashed potatoes, this is an excellent substitute for that. It's made completely of cauliflower and cashews and uh, this recipe gives you that light and fluffy mashed potato flavor and texture without the guilt. Let's hop over to the kitchen and I'll show you how to make it. To start off with, let's run through the ingredients and supplies you're gonna need. First off, you're gonna need a head of cauliflower. You're also gonna want one quarter cup of cashews. These are roasted and unsalted. About half a can of coconut milk. Some salt, in this case, sea salt. A little black pepper, curry powder, a knife. A cutting board, a digital scale, and lastly, a crock pot. Ooh. Next thing we're gonna do is take this thing out of its plastic wrap, rip off the leaves, break it into pieces, and then roll it into the pot. <gasps> I forgot to mention I'm also gonna rinse it first. I'm gonna put all the good stuff into a bowl so that I can keep it separated from the bad. If you really want to, you can leave some of these leaves on as that'll leave kind of a potato skin type texture to your final mash. Now that we've got these florets ready to go, it's time to throw these on the scale because we want 1.5 pounds or 680 grams. Really hoping this doesn't fall right now. So that gets me at 322 grams right there. Ah! Now that we've gotten the cauliflower out of the way, we're ready for our cashews. And we need one quarter cup or 35 grams. To be as precise as possible here, I'm actually gonna put this bowl on the scale and zero the scale out so that the weight of the bowl doesn't factor into the weight of the cashews. Yeah, we're at absolute zero. And now I'm going to violently mash these with my hand. <laughs> The next order of duty is the coconut milk. Now, I've actually already got some left over from the last time that I made this stuff. I hope it's still good because this has been like a month since I made this stuff last. Let's find out. Oh, and for this, we need 180 milliliters. Now that we've got this nasty mess, we'll see if I need to open that new can or not. It smells okay, so can't be that bad, right? And again here, we're using that same green bowl, and I'm gonna zero it out. And just as a quick reminder, we need here 180 milliliters. And that's slightly more than we need, but I added slightly more cauliflower, so I'm okay with that. And now we're gonna throw this whole mess into the Dutch oven. I forgot to mention this earlier, but two tablespoons of water are going in here with the cauliflower, cashews, and coconut milk. One, two. Now we turn this thing on to high and bring it to a boil. As you can see, it's already at a boil, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce the heat down to low to let it simmer and cover it. Twenty minutes is up, so let's check this stuff out. 
And I'm just going to put in a couple of three finger pinches of salt. As well as a three finger pinch of curry powder. And now we just mash it all with a fork. And I'll just keep doing this a few times until I'm satisfied. And there we have it. A nice batch of cross chops, coconut, cauliflower, curry mash. So as a final touch to this, I'm gonna add some ground cinnamon. Not much, just a little bit here to mix in. Not only for flavor, but also because it lowers the glycemic index of this food. This is optional, by the way. Let's see how this turned out. Yeah, that's fantastic. Anyway guys, I really have no idea why I made this video, but I thought it'd be something kind of interesting to do, something a little different. I'll probably never do something like this again, but if by some stretch of your imagination you did enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe. Thanks so much for hanging out at Cross Shop today and play heavy.